The Sony Xperia 5 was released at IFA 2019 as Sony's latest flagship device, but it is in a slightly shrunken down shell. Now, a smaller smartphone with flagship specifications, could this possibly be Sony's way of slyly bringing back the compact line? Now, the Sony Xperia 5 is shipping from Clove Technology now for £699 including VAT, so make sure you go and check that one out. So, is this really just a shrunken down Xperia 1? Let's have a closer look. Now, the Sony Xperia 5 has already been touted as the compact Xperia 1, which we were big fans of here at Clove, and the Xperia 5 certainly sports a similar look. The Xperia 5 retains the same 21 to 9 cinema wide aspect ratio that matches that of the cinema and makes media playback a really enjoyable experience. The 6.1 inch full HD OLED panel has a 1080 by 2520 pixel resolution at 449 pixels per inch, meaning that colour reproduction overall is very good. There's also support for HDR remastering to everything you watch, so even streaming content has much more contrast and clarity. Add Dolby Atmos stereo speakers to this and you have yourself your own mini cinema. What? Maybe we should run that refresher course. Ricochet web. Ricochet web. Oh, cool. Spider web. Web grenade. Web grenade! Another reason I love this ratio is because this means that the device is far slimmer in hand. Indeed, the Xperia 5 has been designed with this in mind, and at 164 grams is pleasantly light. At 158 times 68 times 8.2 millimeters, it is shorter and narrower than the Xperia 1, but still leaves enough room for effective multitasking. A precision engineered metal frame coupled with a glass back make for a sophisticated overall look, finished off with a coating of Corning Gorilla Glass 6 for added durability and protection. Now this means it is slightly prone to fingerprint smudges, however the fingerprint sensor being on the side helps with this and is both easy to reach and very quick to use. Moving on to the camera and a similar triple lens rear setup adorns the Xperia 5. This consists of a 12 megapixel telephoto and portrait lens with an f2.4 aperture and 2 times optical zoom, a 12 megapixel lens with a 26 mm equivalent focal length, an f1.6 aperture and OIS, and lastly, a 12 megapixel super wide angle lens with an f2.4 aperture and a 130 degree field of view. Smart scene detection uses AI tech to distinguish what's in your scene and adjust your settings accordingly. Even with this enabled, colors are very natural and don't come with the overbearing saturation that is the fault of many other smartphones. Cinema Pro in particular is an exceptional tool, giving budded creators access to professional color management. This will also allow you to adjust shutter speed, ISO, focus, and to tweak color profile according to eight professional color management presets. Now, alongside this, the Xperia 5 is also equipped with an eight megapixel front camera with an f2.0 aperture for some very respectable selfies. So this is clearly a great device for all of you media lovers out there and also has a pack of features suited to keen gamers. Indeed, the Xperia 5 lets you record your gameplay, face and commentary at the same time, before uploading to your favourite site. Voice Changer lets you have some fun with your game commentary as well. Now alongside this, Game Enhancer allows you to turn off all notifications during gameplay, while support for a wireless connection to a DualShock 4 controller is also supported. Now, I'm not an avid gamer by any stretch, however I didn't notice any lags with the Xperia 5 which owes largely to Qualcomm's Snapdragon 855 processor, which provides up to 45% faster CPU, 20% faster GPU and improved power efficiency. The 3140mAh battery isn't the biggest but should get you through the day depending on how you use a device. A fast charger is packaged in the box though, getting you a 50% charge in 30 minutes. Sony also includes battery care to keep the device from overcharging and adaptive charging to monitor your device as it charges. Rounding things up, the Sony Xperia 5 comes with an IP65-68 to certification for water and dust resistance and supports a micro SD card of up to 512GB. So if you're looking for a flagship device in a smaller body, then this certainly is the device for you. 
Uh, who needs £699, including VAT? You cannot go wrong with the Xperia 5. And as a woman, I struggle to put things in my pocket and keep things in my bag, so this is absolutely perfect. Now, make sure you subscribe to our channel for all of the latest news and reviews, and I'll catch you again soon.